Hello viewers and welcome to my first look at Grid Legends. Grid is back again, probably one of the most misunderstood racing games there's ever been and we're going to take a look at the latest version that will probably be misunderstood as well but hopefully it will find its niche as we go along. So Grid's been around since 2008. Uh, I visited Codemasters at the time, I uh, interviewed the developers and it was a really good opportunity for me at the time to see the tools and the investment behind Codemasters at the time. Their offices, it was my first time visiting the studio and the studio's grown a lot since then, they've built upon it but already their technology was extremely advanced and they were very, you know, they'd some, whether it was developed in cooperation with Sony, I know they had very advanced lighting technology and really ahead of their time and Grid was a stunning looking game. It had lots of elements about it that felt cool, that felt action packed, that made you feel like a racing driver, that made races feel intense, that made you feel like a badass when you were playing. Grid had all of these elements to it. It was a very intense game to play and ultimately very rewarding and it worked well with the controller at its time. I played a lot of Grid and I remember being at the studio and it was one of those funny times when I remember they finished the game and it went gold at the time and they burned me off a CD and said there you go there's a copy of the game that would never happen today whoops as I hit the mic that would never happen today but it was a funny thing to remember from those days and I enjoyed it immensely on the Xbox 360. Grid 2 uh, was, wasn't was terribly well received, it had the issue with the cockpit cam issue and you know it wasn't going to be in the game and uh, lots of people moaning about it but it was some good stuff in there. Handling was all over the place wasn't it? It, was, it didn't really know what it wanted to be or how to evolve. It had some good elements in there but it needed to be refined. But there were some great tracks and I enjoyed it on my triple screen PC at the time. Then we move on to Grid Autosport. Again, more triple screen racing action. Grid was finding its feet a little more. Perhaps this is what Grid 2 should have been. I enjoyed it immensely, but uh, I would say as a YouTube content creator, it wasn't really popular. Uh, it's a funny thing with Grid. It had lost its popularity. And then a couple of years ago, we had the new game entitled Grid, which is a bit confusing, really, because we've had Grid. We had new Grid, Grid 2019. And... Again, it, it looked great, you know, it's fun to play, but it wasn't the game everybody was after. Perhaps it needed a bit more meat to the bone. And I can tell you as a content creator, in terms of the video content, it wasn't that popular, but I did play it from time to time because I actually enjoyed it. I thought it still had a nice, intense racing experience, but the cars were very pointy. It was always hard getting them settled. There was something missing. So it's been back to the drawing board this time, and now we're looking at Grid Legends. Grid Legends was announced a few months ago and it's still a fun arcade action game. This has got, this is everything you want from Grid in terms of standard action. Very intense, lots of car classes in there. I'm just going to read a few uh, stats. I'm not going to go through all the different stats on the game, but it says here over 250 career events, 130 routes on new and returning locations, 48 car classes. I mean, wow, that's pretty epic. Uh, drift, Elimination, Race Creator and more. So they've got more in this grid than ever before. We've got a detailed story mode which we haven't seen on this preview which I look forward to seeing on a future build at some point. And socially connected it says here this is a, a, a cross player game. So between Xbox and PlayStation really important. It doesn't say it there but 22 player races, cross player lobbies packed with guys racing each other, bashing into each other. It, it has the potential to be awesome. It takes me back to the time of Toka Race Driver 2 and I remember it had uh, Indy cars in that. And there was one course I remember that had a really tight chicane at the start and everybody was negotiating with each other on the voice chat. Let's get through it cleanly. Almost impossible to do. And I remember this whole course of 20 people got through the first chicane and we're like, wow, we've done it. And then everybody crashed on the next corner. But it was still fun to play. And it's great if you can get people together. I don't know what there's going to be in terms of ranking or competitive uh, aspects in terms of the online system, but there's potential for it. And crossplay will at least mean it's busy and it won't die after day one. So let's talk a little bit about the racing. I've played with the control pad, uh, you know, tested some of the different cars. Very intuitive, easy to control. But at this point, I've not had a chance to turn assists all on and off and all that kind of testing. We'll do a detailed analysis on that. 
uh, when we get a, a later build. Suffice to say, the handling is griddish. Uh, the cars are less pointy, but they're quite intuitive. Place the car where you want to. It's very aggressive driving style. A dab on the brake, throw the car in, get on the power as quick as you can, power it through, feel like a badass. So in that sense, it's got the core grid gameplay elements in there. I've also been playing a lot with a wheel. Now, I will point out that the wheel implementation is not completed yet, so we can't review it with a wheel. At this point, I've reduced the wheel rotation. So normally Codemasters games, you can set them to 360 degrees and they pretty, pretty much all go from there. In this uh, version, I've increased the wheel rotation to 500 and something, 540, something like that. And it, it helps a lot with just finding a nice balance on the turning of the car. Still a bit too much wheel weight, but developers are still working on that. Suffice to say, when I toned down the steering, I, I found a car that wasn't so pointy that I was able to work with a lot more and get a lot more from. A lot of fun to play. The I talk about uh, tracks having a lived-in look, and they've really got a nice lived-in look in grid. The the tarmac has lots of detail, tire marks, nice curbs. One thing I did like about the original grid, I remember in San Francisco, you were bouncing on curb to curb to curb. Really felt like you were in an action-packed race. Looked great, played great, and it was intense to play. The replays were just as good as well. It was a real action vibe. I kind of got that from this version. I really felt that some of the tracks I was really able to aggressively drive them and feel I was in there and part of the action. So in terms of wheel play, depends on the cars you're using, but on the cars I've used so far, I felt uh, there's, a, you know, there's, a, there's a good intuitive vibe to it, but I've not been able to push it all through its paces yet. I have reduced traction control, news manual gears, and it does bring a lot more control to you, but it's a very aggressive game. So this isn't some game where you hang around waiting for a clean overtake you literally just go for it you see a gap you go for it you know get on the inside go around the outside bash into other cars whatever it takes you've got to get to the front as quick as you can so it's very aggressive racing in terms of the intuitive feel all the cars kind of have a nuance that makes you feel like those cars in a grid way but this is where the misunderstanding of grid comes in it's an arcade game. It's not meant to handle like a simulator. If you're after a simulator, this isn't the game for you. And I do see comments where people are a bit confused as to what type of game this is. It's grid. It's arcade racing. It's a dab on the brakes, throw it into the corner and get on the power as quick as you can and let the car sort itself out. It really is one of those. But great tracks in there as well. There's also the, uh, the creator in there as well, the race creator. I haven't been through all of that at this stage that's something i'm going to look at on another part of the preview but for me it's a core handling so different cars fun to play uh, the trophy trucks and the jumps slow the truck down steady a bit for the jump get into the corner let the front wheel go off you feel nice and comfortable with that the formula e cars feel a bit more weighted a bit more planted on the ground uh, then you have uh, i think formula ford or old formula ford i don't know what it's called in the game but felt as you would expect the cars had nuances that worked in the way that you expect that enable you to be aggressive with them. I think there's Clio's in there as well to race around those. And again, they you jump in the car, it's immediately intuitive. It's got all the fun elements of driving without the, the elements of braking distances and needing to get that right. Just get on the brakes, turn towards that apex, and the car's going to go there, there or thereabouts, so you can get on the power. Speed, it's about keeping on the limit, carrying as much speed through those corners as you dare and dialing yourself into those courses. Tracks look great, locations look great, to me anyway. I mean, it's up to you guys what you think at home, but I think they look really good. There's lots of detail. Crowd system is, is pretty impressive as well. Uh, now, I mentioned Grid 1. You know, I remember visiting Studio years ago, and the Grid crowd system could apparently render 33,000 people or something was a stat. Well, I don't know how many this renders but the crowds look great 3d crowds all over the place it gives you a real intensity lots of particle effects i'm liking what i've seen so far it's everything you kind of want from a grid game in terms of the intense racing so that's been it really in terms of the options and features i haven't gone through it all here because i don't have all the information but i have seen a rather detailed presentation from the developer and my goodness there's a lot in here to see and explore in terms of cars tracks and pretty much everything you want from grid so i'll be covering that in a bit more detail and doing some uh no comment races on the channel when we can do those as well so grid is coming uh end of february february 28th i believe uh 2022 uh and hopefully we'll, between now and then we'll see what other elements the game has in store 
as well as a look at the story mode. Uh, do let me know in the comments, uh, what do you think of the game so far? What would you like to see? What's missing? Uh, are you looking forward to Grid? Nice to get your feedback and all that. For me, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I actually am looking forward to it. I do enjoy a good Grid game. I hope people you enjoy watching it too and perhaps enjoying a few more Grid videos. I'll jump on and do a few more different types of races as we go on. But um, that's it from me for now, for a bit of Grid action. Uh, and as ever, there'll be more from me very soon.